Now the next step will be to download uh, the proteomes of chimp and uh, mouse. So by proteomes I mean the whole set of proteins um, in the genome or um, in the in a human in a mouse and chimps. Okay, to do that we select here proton and here we type uh, the chimp which is chimpanzee or we can type pantroglodites search so we will see several results here but many of them are um, uh, referring to viruses so we need actually this one with 48,769 proteins so we, we don't click on the name of the organism but we click here ok we can select all of them, doesn't really matter um, now we see here that the annotation score since uh, uh, chimp is not so well annotated as humans we have many many proteins with annotation score 1 and then annotation score 2 but we don't have many with high annotation scores so we will um, uh, be a little bit more flexible and we will not choose any annotation score and then we click here share generate URL from MAPI again we can compress or not compress the data actually and then here download all and then generate URL for API and we will see that uh, again we have a FASTA format the query now is proteome column and this ID here is the ID for chimp and then here the parenthesis closing so I will copy this and I will go to my script I will rewrite this proteome ok I will do it a bit not very nicely now I'll just paste what I copied here um, ok I don't need all that the output file name will be chimp proton.fun and I will just give this ID this URL and I will just put it here okay, this I don't need it and this will be the proton for chimp and then I will just modify this URL for mouse of course a better solution would be to um, to get these IDs from the command line and then use the same script uh, to, to get the data uh, perhaps I can show how to do that actually so I said a better solution would be to modify the Python script uh, to get the organism uh, from the command line so here I use arc parse I did this modification I use arc parse to pass arguments from the command line into the Python script so I import the library then this is a standard way uh, in arc parse module to uh, get to create a parser that will get the data from the command line I use the minus minus organism flag to denote the organism in the command line and here I parse the arguments now arc parse has a nice option that this object arcs dot 
the name that I provide here will be actually the value from the command line. So if the organism will be chimp or the orga organism will be chimpanzee, then the organism ID will be this code here and this is the Uniprot code of the chimp. On the other hand, if it is mouse or moose, the Uniprot ID will be this one. Of course, I can extend this list blah 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 with many many other organisms but this is not this is not uh, related to the uh, current task that we have okay now the output file name will be the organism for example chimp underscore proteom dot fa I create this URL using the org ID and I download the data into chunks again. Okay, and now to run this script, I have to type in Python 3 proton by minus minus organism chimp. It will take some time. Um, but not so much so here I have I have already downloaded the mouse proton and the chimp proton is here if I see this file it looks like that again in the file name here in the sequence name here there are some gaps there are some symbols that I don't like it so much also another thing to uh, note here is to notice here is that the fast of sequence is not in one line but in several lines and also this will create some problems and we will have to modify that. Alright. Now we have the aquaporin in humans, the mouse proton and the chimp proton. And what we will do will be to blast, to create a database um, of the protons and blast the human sequences on the blast database in order to find similar uh, proteins as the aquaporins in human in mouse and chimp. Um, so I will show how to do that now here a student of mine actually has written some pipeline to do that so we will use the software diamond which is an accelerated blast actually to make a database and then use blast p to blast um, uh, one file to the database and then use some bash commands to uh, get the results. Okay, let's go on. Let's see first if Diamond is installed in this computer. So I use aptitude to search for Diamond. It's this diamond aligner. It's installed actually here, but if you if in your computer it's not installed, you can do sudo apt install diamond aligner to uh, to install the uh, aligner itself. Um, but let's continue this um, uh, further commands in another video uh, just to have everything uh, nicely separated.